Troy Donahue was an American actor and teen heartthrob best known for his roles in romantic dramas of the 1950s and 1960s. He had a strikingly handsome appearance with his chiseled features and blonde hair, which made him an instant sensation among young female audiences. Donahue's performances were often marked by his brooding intensity and emotional depth, which added layers of complexity to his characters. Throughout his career, he appeared in several successful films and television shows, solidifying his status as one of Hollywood's most recognizable leading men. Merle Johnson Jr., who later changed his name to Troy Donahue, was born in New York on January 27, 1936. His father was a high-ranking executive in the motion picture division of General Motors, while his mother had aspirations of becoming an actress. Despite studying journalism at Columbia University, Donahue found himself gravitating towards acting, which quickly consumed most of his time. He soon became one of the first real teen idols of his time, captivating audiences with his boyish good looks and charming personality. Unfortunately, as time passed, Donahue's fame faded and he became a forgotten figure to those who did not grow up with him. It's a sad but natural consequence of belonging to a different era. Troy Donahue's rise to fame was ironic, considering his parents had never wanted him to pursue a career in acting. Instead, they hoped he would choose a more stable profession, such as medicine or law. Despite this, Donahue was determined to become an actor and refused to let anything stand in his way. However, to appease his parents, he attended a New York military academy where he met Francis Ford Coppola. Donahue even considered attending West Point, but a knee injury from a track meet put an end to that idea. Undeterred, Donahue volunteered for the Army, but unfortunately he was rejected. Despite this setback, Donahue persevered and continued to pursue his passion for acting. Troy Donahue's journey to stardom was a bumpy one, with several false starts and setbacks before he finally got his big break. He began by acting in summer stocks and even received a screen test from renowned director James Sheldon. Unfortunately, the test didn't lead to anything significant. Things took a turn for the worse when Donahue drove his car off the road and fell 40 feet into a canyon. Luckily, he survived the accident and eventually caught the attention of Henry Wilson, an agent who saw potential in the young actor. Wilson even changed his name to Troy Donahue, which he quickly grew accustomed to. Donahue signed with Universal Studios in 1956 and started in small roles, gradually building his experience and reputation. By 1958, he began landing slightly bigger roles and making appearances on television shows. It was on television that he began to shine, often outperforming his film roles and gaining more exposure. Troy Donahue's career took off after he signed with Warner Brothers in 1959. His first big break came when he was cast opposite Sandra D in A Summer Place. Warner Brothers was so impressed with Donahue's performance that they offered him a long-term contract and put him to work immediately. Donahue was quickly made into the star that Warner Brothers had been hoping for, with several series and movies under his belt. In 1960, he was cast in Surfside 6 and his career began to take off. Fans were sending him up to 7,500 letters per week, making him one of the most popular actors of his time. Unfortunately, Surfside 6 was eventually cancelled, but Donahue was quickly placed on another show called Hawaiian Eye for the last season. Around this time, he also recorded several singles for Warner Brothers, hoping to launch a singing career. While his songs didn't make it into the Billboard Hot 100, Donahue's fans still loved him, and his career continued to flourish. Troy Donahue's career took a turn in 1968 when he returned to Universal Studios, signing a long-term contract that would only last for a year. He faced serious financial problems, declaring bankruptcy and losing his home. Despite living the glamorous life of a movie star, he was not being paid enough to sustain it, leading to a decline in his career. However, Financial woes were not the only problem Troy faced. He admitted to drug and alcohol abuse, which started during the height of his career and only worsened as his career took a nosedive. His routine would consist of waking up and getting loaded, staying intoxicated throughout the day, and doing whatever it took to acquire more money to fuel his addiction. 
From this point on, Troy's career struggled to regain its former glory, and he had to do whatever it took to earn a living. He eventually settled for a dingy apartment, a far cry from his previous glamorous lifestyle. Despite his ongoing struggles with addiction, Troy Donahue managed to find work in New York that he enjoyed. However, he continued to spend all of his money on his vices and ended up homeless for months at a time. One of his most notable roles was playing Merle, Connie's fiance, in The Godfather Part Two. Eventually, he returned to Hollywood and settled in Los Angeles, where he got married for the fourth time and continued acting in films and television shows. He was open about his tumultuous life and the challenges he faced. In 1981, Troy decided to make a change and sought treatment for his addictions. It was a turning point in his life, and he was able to successfully overcome his struggles with substance abuse. Donahue joined Alcoholics Anonymous in 1982, and after maintaining his sobriety, he went back to work in full time and became the beloved star he once was. Though he never quite reached the same level of fame as before, he was content to be clean and back to work. Unfortunately, Donahue passed away on September 2, 2001, due to a heart attack at the age of 65. Despite the challenges he faced throughout his life, he was remembered fondly by those who knew him. Goodbye and rest in peace, Troy Donahue.